Hey everybody, yep, every once in a while we get an update from Jeff on what's going on with uh, our business and how it impacts you. And today I'm going to briefly talk about changes in our search and social strategy. This message, by the way, is going out to all of our clients. If we are working on your search or social presence, this change affects you and affects you significantly. There's been a continuous discussion in digital marketing of quantity over quality and we all know the way that ends up. Um, and we all know what the right answer to that is, quality over quantity. Now, last year, the argument was in favor of a lot of social media. And that won out over the conversation over high quality social media posts. So we wanted, we, we wanted to get a lot of posts. That meant more content, but not of higher quality. The practice of the day was to begin to quote unquote curate content. In other words, find content on the web, very relevant to your business, create a link to that content, along with a commentary like we found this great article regarding bankruptcy and the differences in creditors' rights between Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcy, or whatever your spe specialty happens to be. Check out this article and we provided a link. Now, what we discovered, and this is across all of our different business types that we support, is that this looked good on paper. What the experts were saying, yeah, made sense, but we were not getting the search traffic we were looking for. It was not as impactful as, as we thought was appropriate. So we've made a fairly deep committing to blending quality and quantity. Starting this year, we'll minimize and or stop the simple and fast curation of comp content and instead, we're going to focus on fewer posts to social media of much higher quality and links not going to other people's stuff and other people's articles, but back to your site. Now, that gives us the quality, but how do I get the quantity without hitting you with a price increase? Okay, so one of my favorite clients gave me the phrase, wherever someone looks, there we are. <clears throat> Thanks, Sean. So while we are now committing to a much higher quality of content and depending on your retainer, that might mean fewer posts, we are at the same time casting a much broader net. Now I had an, in, uh, an interesting conversation with an old friend of mine in the domain name and banking and leasing business. Uh, in the early days, he gobbled up some of the most incredible domain names, which, which I'm not at liberty to discuss here. But um, he leases them out to other businesses for whom it is appropriate. And some of them are big national brand names that you're aware of. Anyway, he told me, I check on in on Facebook sometimes. But if you really want to know where the business heads are at, you spend your social media time on LinkedIn. Now, it doesn't take much to know that the press hangs on every tweet from POTUS. And the point is different people invest in different social media types. Some social media has a smaller or different audience and they may be potential customers and clients of yours. Some of them have a very different type of focus in their audience. And so, Sean, I'm going to borrow from you and say wherever someone goes, there you should be. And while we used to post you to your blog and Facebook, usually Twitter and later on in the year, Google My Business, Today, we're expanding that to automatically post your new, higher quality blog content to your blog, Facebook page, Instagram, LinkedIn business page, Pinterest, Twitter, Flipboard, Google My Business, Tumblr, Digo, Reddit, Flickr, and when it's video, like this one, YouTube. That's 13 properties for every single post. This way, no matter where your potential new customers and clients are spending time, there you are. The setup for this happens to be huge, okay? It's a huge amount of work to set all these things up. Some of you have already been through the process with us, and on your side, there's usually about a two-hour investment in your time. We don't need your full attention during that time, but we do need you to tell us what confirmation codes come to you by email or text from the different platforms when we hook your blog up to them to auto-post. You see, the social media accounts don't want you to let competitors, okay, or people uninvolved with you or spammers to post to your account. That means they're going to verify the account for everybody we set up. And since most accounts were set up by you folks, those verifications come from you. So at some time when you would be doing desk work, 
right? We would need to sit down with you, and every once in a while, you'll get a ping, and it'll say, hey, your code is 39552. And you'll get back to us, and you'll say the code is 39552. It's time-sensitive codes, so we're going to need to work together on it. However, let's be really clear. Clearly and unequivocally, depth of content matters in getting search rank. Depth of content matters to those for looking for your services. And this strategy allows us to create high quality depth of content and deploy it out to a huge audience, 13 social media sites, and using some other SEO things like qualified backlinks and citations and all that sort of stuff embedded in your content. Uh, but Google makes it absolutely certain. It, they publish best practices guide and quality and depth of content are among the most significant drivers of whether or not Google is going to send you search traffic in the form of search engine results. So if one of if, if you are one of our search or social clients on Retainer, we'll be in, getting in touch to get a time to find you at your desk for about two hours to help us in this setup. If you're not on a search or social media uh, contract or a, re large, a, a retainer and you're curious, give us a call. Let's talk about doing some social media work for us and driving up your rankings. All right. Thanks so much. That's your quick update for today.